and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's video five here in the GCSE Maths revision uh, videos I've made, and we're talking about expanding double brackets. Pause the video and read this to make sure you understand how these videos work. In summary, make a revision card of the examples I go through, and on the back of the revision card, attempt the exam questions I show you at the end. This video is for short, sharp revision. Explanations will be quick and concise. For more detail, detail, see the website. So we're expanding double brackets and this is how we're going to do. We're going to do six examples. So copy these down on a revision card. How do we do these? Well, we do uh, x multiplied by both terms in the second bracket. So we have x multiplied by x, which is x squared, and x multiplied by positive 3, which is positive 3x. Then we take the second term in the first bracket, positive 2, and we multiply it by both terms in the second bracket. So positive 2 multiplied by x is positive 2x, positive 2 multiplied by positive 3 is positive 6. Then we don't forget to collect like terms. We've got a positive 3x and a positive 2x, which combine to positive 5x. So we have x squared, add 5x, add 6, and we're done. Right, let's do the next one. Notice the numbers are the same in the terms, but there's a negative here instead of a positive. So same idea, x multiplied by x, x multiplied by negative 3, then we have positive 2 multiplied by x, and positive 2 multiplied by negative 3. What would we get? x multiplied by x is x squared, x multiplied by negative 3 is negative 3x. Then we have positive 2 multiplied by x, which is positive 2x, positive 2 multiplied by negative 3 is negative 6. Collecting like terms, we've got a negative 3x and we add a 2. Negative 3 and we add a 2. So we're at negative 3 and we add a 2, we get to negative 1x. So this would be equal to x squared subtract 1x, which we just write as subtract x, subtract 6. Okay, the next one, similar to the two above, apart from the negative is with the 2. So, x multiplied by x, x multiplied by positive 3, and then we do negative 2 multiplied by x, and negative 2 multiplied by positive 3. So, x multiplied by x is x squared, x multiplied by positive 3 is positive 3x, um, negative 2 multiplied by x is negative 2x, and negative 2 multiplied by positive 3 is negative 6. Combining like terms, we've got a positive 3x and a negative 2x. That will just be positive 1x. So combining that, we would have x squared plus 1x subtract 6. Okay? Now the next one, same as the ones above, apart from two negatives. So just be careful here. x multiplied by x, x multiplied by negative 3 negative 2 multiplied by x, negative 2 multiplied by negative 3. So what would we have? We'd have x multiplied by x is x squared, x multiplied by negative 3 is negative 3x, negative 2 multiplied by x is negative 2x, and negative 2 multiplied by negative 3 is positive 6. Combining these, we've got a negative 3x combined with a negative 2x, so we have negative 5x's. So what do we have? x squared subtract 5x add 6. Two more examples, same thing but just slightly more complicated. 2x multiplied by x, 2x multiplied by negative 2, 3 multiplied by x and positive 3 multiplied by negative 2. So 2x multiplied by x is 2x squared, 2x multiplied by negative 2 is negative 4x. 3, positive 3 multiplied by x is positive 3x, positive 3 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 6. Combining the middle term, we've got a negative 4x and we add positive 3x, so we get a negative 1x. Because we're at negative 4 here and we add 3, so we end up at negative 1. So what would we have? We'd have 2x squared, subtract an x, subtract 6. And the last one... <clears throat> 3x subtract 2 squared. Well, that means 3x subtract 2 multiplied by 3x subtract 2. It means 3x subtract 2 multiplied by itself. So once you've written it in that form, it's just the same as example 5. So we've got 3x multiplied by 3x, 3x multiplied by negative 2, 
and negative 2 multiplied by 3x and negative 2 multiplied by negative 2. 3x multiplied by 3x is 9x squared. 3x multiplied by negative 2 is negative 6x. Negative 2 multiplied by 3x is another negative 6x. And negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 is positive 4. Combining the middle terms, negative 6x and negative 6x, in total you'd have negative 12x's. So we'd have 9x squared, subtract 12x, add 4. So that should be enough for your revision card. And now I'd like you to try the following exam questions. Try these on the back of your revision card. Make sure you can do them. I'll go through the answers to each in 10 seconds. Okay, very quickly doing these, we get x squared, add 6x, add 4x, add, add 24, so this would give us x squared, add 10x, add 24. Next one, draw in my lines to remind me what to do, we'd have m squared, add 10m, add 3m, add 30. Combining the middle term, m squared add 13m add 30. Next one. We have y squared subtract 3y add 8y subtract 24. Combining negative 3y add 8y would be positive 5y. So y squared add 5y subtract 24. Next one. So we do that. So we'd have x squared add 3x, subtract 5x, subtract 15. So combining the middle, 3x take away 5x is negative 2x. x squared subtract 2x, subtract 15. Okay, now these two. We'd have 2x squared, subtract 8x, add 1x, take away 4. Negative 8x, add a positive x would be negative 7x. So that would be 2x squared, subtract 7x, subtract 4. Last one, we could write this as 2t, subtract 3, multiplied by 2t, subtract 3, and then it's just a simple expansion like before. We get 4t squared, subtract 6t, subtract 6t, add 9. Negative 6t with another negative 6t is negative 12t. So we get 4t squared, subtract 12t, add 9. So hopefully you found that useful for multiplying out um, two brackets.